Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you have been following my channel for some time, you might notice that I like Olama a lot. The reason is that it is a free and open source tool that lets anyone run open large language models locally on your system. It supports Linux, Windows and Mac OS. It is a command line interface tool that lets you conveniently download LLMs and run it locally and privately on commodity hardware which includes CPU. I already have done heaps of videos where I have shown you how to install Olama locally on Windows, Linux and Mac. But in this video, I am going to share with you another tool which is an open source simple Python script that lets you manage Olama models locally. If you don't know how to install it, as I mentioned earlier, please search my channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos. For instance, if you are on Linux, go to Olama's website, click on this download and Olama's website is olama.com. Click on Linux, simply copy this command and run it on your terminal and that will install your Olama. Same goes for Mac OS and then you can simply download it and similarly for Windows. Very, very simple to use. Now this guy Marco has created this simple Olama model manager which is another way of managing Olama models locally and I will show you how. This script works anywhere like Linux, Windows, Mac because it is simple Python script. As long as you have any recent version of Python installed, this script should work. If you go through this script, it is importing some of the very very usual libraries, nothing fancy there. And then it is defining a class with constructor with request and create model and lot of other functions where it is simply doing some api calls and that's about it very very simply written script and it is really uh, quite interesting and uh, very inspiring to see that how people are innovating and creating these lightweight wrappers on an already amazing tool so i will drop the link to this script in video description so that you can also copy paste so really um, good stuff by Marco and really our community is eliminating people like him who are doing a lot of good stuff like this. So let me take you to my local system where we will be running this script. There is no installation actually. All you need to do is to copy this script, paste it in your Python file, give it a .py extension, make it an executable if it's not already and then just simply run it and I will show you how you can run it too. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute. Who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, please check the video's description. I will be giving you the link to their website plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs which includes the GPU which I am running on this system and this system is 1222.04 as you can see on your screen now. Also, I am running one GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 this is the one and you can even run it on fraction of cost I normally get um, some comments from some of the people not all of them that um, how can they afford such expensive cards neither can I all I do I rent it from sites like Mast Compute so if you're interested don't hold back um, and don't let the prices of these GPUs hold you back simply go and rent it if you really want to run these models locally okay so that said and done now i already have olama installed the way i shown you and this is my um, directory my code you can create your own and if i simply do here ls-ltr i just created this file if you want to create it simply do touch and just give it this name and it is going to create this file once this file is created, simply do chmod, uh, simply do a plus x and then file name, it is going to make it executable and you can run it on your local system. I already have done it. Let me clear the screen. And now let's see how this thing works. So first up, let's use this Olama model manager to list your models. There you go. You can also do the same with Olama list command like this. So behind the scene, it is running this same command but you can see that the output of olama list is um, not that colorful plus we can also see the tags in custom tags with our olama's model manager but of course you can also use olama list command to see the tags in the uh, verbose one but um, 
the thing is that this tool is not um, sort of adding anything new it is just making it more colorful more comprehensive just your own wrapper tool in order to use it that's it okay because I'm, i know that this question is going to be asked in the comments cool so now we know how to list the models uh, such as this one as i showed you now if you want to add a custom tag on your model you see that we have custom tags to where you want to identify a model with your own use case for example i have seen that in the companies um, people just tag their models in respect of the departments which are using it for example your call center department might be using something like um, 53 or your finance might be using this llama 3.1 your developers might be using no big embed other developers might be using another embedding model so you can use that one so you see here um, i'm just adding a custom tag i'm calling it my tag and i'm putting this tag to this phi 3 latest model so let me run it so you see that my tag has been added and now if you just run the above list command again you will see now this my tag has been the custom tag has been added similarly you can remove this tag by simply using this um, remove tag statement let me press enter here and you see that now it has been removed now if we run this list command again it is going to see that it has been removed let me clear the screen um, also if you want to filter the models with their tags you can simply do it for example you want to filter all the models with tag uh, latest or llm so if i press enter you see that these this is the latest model and these are the have llm here for example if you want to go with small um, latest and llm if you run this command it is going to give you the small one too here if you just want to go with something like uh, <clears throat> latest and small you can go with this one see it's only small and latest that's it and if you just Okay, so now if you want to have a detailed information about a model, you can use another command which is simply dash dash info switch and there you go. So if you go up, you will see it is giving you a lot of information about this model. For example, you can see what is the architecture or family of the model. And then if you scroll down, it is going to tell you the model file. If you don't know what model file is, please search my channel. I have done a detailed video on it. This basically lets you create a model from the Olama and you can even push it to Olama website. You can have your own model there. So this just specifies uh, what sort of base image you are using, prompt template, and then license and other stuff. So this is one way of doing it. Let me clear the screen. And uh, definitely you can pull a model from Olama's website. And I'm just Im importing this all mini LM33 million embedding model. Now this script is giving an error towards the end, but it does the job. Let's wait for it to download. Another drawback is that uh, once we pull it, it doesn't show any, anything. But if you do here, for example, let me run Olama list, you see this is now present here. So it does the job, but that throws this error. It should be very trivial to fix it anyway. And it doesn't show us the progress. I think it will be good to see some colorful progress bar here. Maybe he could use TQDM or something like that. Anyway, now. You can also use this embedding model to convert a text into embedding or embedding is simply a numerical representation of your tokens. So you see I'm just using dash dash embedding with this embedding model and I'm calling it hello world. So it is. So these are the embeddings and another. So you see uh, if I run it with another embedding model, you see I have two embedding models. So this is the existing one and I just say hello world. Let's see if the embeddings match or not. This is just for fun and giggles so you see this is the nine and these are totally different so they are they are being represented by totally different values totally different numerical values by different models similarly you can delete the model which you have just pulled let me clear the screen and simply use delete switch and yes it gives the error but it does the job so if i do olama list you see there is no uh, all mini lm embedding model anymore you can also copy an existing model uh, to another name and with another tag. Let's say if you want to copy this Phi 3 latest model to something like my Phi 3, copy it, press enter it, it is going to do that. If I do Olama list here, it is going to show me that now I have this copied one. 
so and if you just want to display all of the model it you can just simply do python 3 olama model manager it is going to display all the model this is just same like dash dash list command so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this tool as i said i'm going to drop the link to it in video description have fun and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching